Jesus promised. Jesus promised he take care of me. Oh, how marvelous. Revelation in the chapter 4, I think. Hallelujah. And it's uh, it spoke about the elders and the angels that sit before the Lamb of the Children. And the Bible says, day and night, 
the elders they would take off their crown and they would say holy is the lord god almighty 24 7 worship and praise going unto the lord today is our opportunity to practice what it will be like in heaven yeah yeah what it will be like in heaven yeah yeah what it will be like in heaven yeah yeah say hallelujah 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 you are worthy 24-7 worship 24-7 worship 24-7 worship 24-7 worship You are worthy of my worship Worthy of my praise From my spirit to my soul Until my voice re echoes You are worthy of my worship from my spirit, to my soul, until my voice, you are called, you are worthy. From my spirit, to my soul, until my voice, you are called, you are worthy. From my spirit, to my soul. Until my voice re-echoes, you are worthy of my worship, worthy of my praise. Halle, 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 to the one that sits on the throne to the one and only Jesus to the love for us my soul to the one who has me alive today to you I give my worship God to you I give my praise oh God we join with the angels and sing Halle, 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 he is worthy of the praise he is worthy of the praise before you take your seat help me to celebrate our father your pastor your bishop for a great work he has been doing in this beautiful island you know I've heard a lot about him, and I was expecting to see a very old man. <laughs> Just to see a young, gentle boy. <laughs> celebrate him, celebrate him. <laughs> Bishop, thank you. Thank you for the great seed you have sown in this island. And may God continue to keep you and protect you. And put your hands together for every pastor and every leader of this beautiful church. God bless you. Now take your seat and turn your Bible to John chapter 11. We're reading from the verse 1. John chapter 11. We're reading from verse 1. You know, we have a very big issue. We have a very big issue, and that issue is my ascent. So please, pay so much attention so you can hear me. Okay? Pay so much attention. I baptize you with the spirit of understanding African ascent tonight. <laughs> now, a certain man was sick, named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary, and her sister, Martha. And it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet 
with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Verse 3. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou loved is sick. They sent a message to Jesus through TikTok. And said, Jesus, our brother whom you love is dead. And to their disappointment, Jesus didn't show up. Hello? They were, Jesus loved their brother. And to my best understanding, anytime Jesus is hungry, he go to their house and there's always food to eat. Now our brother is sick. We message you. We WhatsApp you. You saw the message, you read it, and you ignore. You see, one major thing about lives, sometimes the people you expect them to stand with you in your most difficult moment, they will not be there. And that is fine. Sometimes the people you expect that when you are going down, they will lift you up. When those moments come, you look around and they are nowhere to be found. And sometimes we, your pastors, can also do the same thing to you. We heard that you are sick and we didn't call even to check up on you. We heard that you are at the hospital. You call bishop. You call the pastors and the elders and nobody come to visit you. And sometimes that can get you to the place of bitterness. But instead of you to be bitter, the bishop didn't call to pray for you on the sick bed. Thank God for God that even when bishop didn't show up, Jesus show up on your sick bed. Jesus show up on your sick bed. Listen to me. Instead of you to be bitter and started calling people in the church, can you imagine? I called bishop. I called this pastor. I told them I am sick. I sent them videos and pictures of me at the hospital bed. They didn't even send a prayer. Nobody even came to see me. I will never come to the church again. No, you are missing it. Because sometimes Jesus himself want to come. That is why he will not allow any pastor to come and take the glory for your healing and your deliverance. Hello? Sometimes God himself will make sure people from the church forget about you. So it can become just you and him. Because sometimes when you are so much surrounded by people, you forget God. Sometimes when you are so much surrounded by people, you forget God. So sometimes God himself will make people forget you. And it, that gets you to the place where your prayer life goes to the next level. Are you here? So they sent message to Jesus, expecting Jesus to come. And Jesus didn't show. You know the story already. And the disciples were like, Jesus, your friend is dying. And Jesus gave a, a fake prophecy. He said, Lazarus is not going to die. Say he's not going to die. And just to be told that Lazarus died. And they told Jesus. Jesus said he's not, he didn't die. He's just sleeping. Uh -uh. And the disciples said, we heard that they have buried him. Jesus said, don't worry. I will go and wake him up. We were there when you prophesied that the guy will not die. And the guy died. And the guy has been buried. Day one, day two, day three, day four. And Jesus told the disciples, now let's go. To where? <laughs> Please, as a believer, learn to manage your disappointment. Because sometimes your disappointment is God's way of drawing you closer to him. Are you here? Imagine you are Mary and Martha. Your brother was sick. Jesus didn't come. Paul, Bishop didn't come. Your brother was dying. Bishop didn't come. Even the funeral, Jesus didn't come. And four days, when you have cried and there's no tears, now Jesus show up. And to your surprise, the Bible says, and Jesus wept. Why are you crying? <laughs> oh, Mary, sorry. Oh. So why are you crying? If I am the one, by the time I see Jesus coming, 
I will enter the room and take some cutlass, put it at my back like this. <laughs> and we all know that when Jesus comes, a miracle will happen. And we have been expecting you, expecting you, expecting you, and you didn't come. And when everything seems like it is over and over, now you show up to do what? Look at me. It is never over until Jesus show up. I strongly believe that people were mocking Mary and Martha. And they would tell them things like, oh, you have been bragging to us about Jesus. How the Jesus you are following is very powerful. He can raise the dead. He can perform miracles. Now your brother is sick. Jesus didn't show up. Your brother died. Jesus didn't show up. Even at the funeral, Jesus didn't show up. Sometimes, as a believer, you can go through this phase of your life. You can have this experience even in the church. Some of you, you love this church so much. You love the bishop so much. You brag to the people about your church family, how they love you, how they are there for you, how they support you. All of a sudden, you started going through some things and the very church you brag about abandoned you. What will you do? Hello? You brag to your family, your children, everybody about how the bishop has been always there for you since 1901. Yeah, and everybody know that anything happening to you, bishop will show up, bishop will be there, the church will be there. Now you are going through something and everybody expect that bishop will stand with you, the church will stand with you and nobody is nowhere to be found. And people are saying, what is, what is your bishop? Where is your bishop? Where is your church people? The church you have been going for years, talking about your pastor, talking about your church. What happened now? Where are they? Where can they help you? Where can they support you? It can become a very painful moment. And I strongly believe that there were people who were, were at, you know, Lazarus' funeral, dancing and jubilating. And say, well, you see, your Jesus cannot even come and perform any miracle. They were, they were dancing, African dancing. Dancing, African dancing. And they ate food. And they were drinking. They were jubilating. They are looking at the face of Mary and Martha. You see, your Jesus didn't come. They were celebrating. And Mary and Martha were crying. Not knowing that even if it is over, when our God show up, it's a different story. It's a different story. It's a different story. When our God show up, it's a different story. I've been poisoned eight times. And three times by my auntie. Because she has an assignment to kill me when I was young. Because the gods told her that I would deliver the family. So she should eliminate me. And she poisoned me and I started vomiting blood, stooling blood. And they took me to the hospital and they said they need to do surgery and put rubber in my tummy. And there's only one white man that can do that surgery. And I was dying. And the day before the white man would come and do the surgery, I saw this old man, like our handsome bishop, old, but older than him. White hair, white, white, white. And the skin looked very old. Came to the hospital room and started operating on me. And after he finished, a certain strength came upon me. I got up from the hospital bed, removed oxygen and everything on me, and I got up. About 3 there about, 3 a.m. When the nurses who came to prepare the apparatus for the doctor to come and do the surgery, they scream. And they say, you mad? Go and lay down. You are not even supposed to shake your body. And I told them, the doctor already came. They were like, no! The doctor has not yet come. And I said, the doctor came. Few minutes later, the white man showed up, shaking. He said, come and lay down. And he do every test and find out that everything came brand new. If you are truly a believer and a truly a servant of Jesus, no matter how hopeless your situation looked like, unless this Jesus didn't show up. But any day and any time that Jesus will show up, 
It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Everybody was so disappointed about the story of Lazarus. But when Jesus went to the tomb and spoke to the tomb, and I, I, I need Lazarus, and screamed and said, Lazarus, come forth. Immediately, death obey. The grave obey. The casket under beneath open and bring forth Lazarus. And he that was dead and buried for four days came back alive, walking and moving. I came to prophesy over the life of somebody. After tonight, anything dead in your life, anything dead about your life is coming back alive. You are coming forth. You are coming forth from oppression, from setback, from disappointment, from rejection. You are coming forth. Stand on your feet and shout yes! Look at me. Don't be quick to celebrate when you see people fall. Hello? Don't be, con don't be quick to conclude it is over for people because some of us we have covenant with God when it look like we are falling we are about to rise higher than before higher than before higher than before yeah. when it look like we are going down don't, don't laugh don't laugh yet because we are just gathering momentum to rise higher and higher and higher and tonight I came to prophesy over the life of somebody who is epitome of the story of Lazarus. You have been dead and buried. Your marriage dead and buried. Your relationship dead and buried. Your family dead and buried. But tonight, stand on your feet, let's pray. Tonight, there will be a coming forth. There will be a coming forth for all your setback, for all your delay, for all your disappointment. There will be a come forth. There will be a come forth. Shut yes. Come forth. People heard about the death and they were happy. They were rejoicing. They thought it was over for them. Until Jesus show up. Tonight, Jesus will show up in the life of somebody. Oh, you don't believe it is you. Tonight, the Jesus I know will show up in the life of somebody. Somebody's relationship. Somebody's marriage. Somebody's business. Somebody's finances. Somebody's family. Jesus will show up. Jesus will show up. Jesus, lift up your two hands. Jesus will show up. Jesus will show up. Jesus will show up. Jesus will show up. Is there a family here like pain? Pain. Pain. Is there a family here like pain? Pain. Pain. Somebody should help me with the microphone. Pain. When I was making the decree, talking about come forth, come forth, I saw myself in a realm of light. And the Spirit of God took me into a very old building. When I entered the building, I didn't see anybody. But I saw people screaming and screaming, like people who are going through torment. And the Spirit of the Lord told me that the family, the family of Alexander, the family of Alexander, and the family of click low, click, 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 click low, click, click, click low, the family of Alexander, and the family of click low, click, click, I'm from Ghana, so help me, click low, and the family of pain, has been buried, has been locked up. This three family has been locked up and I should command them to come forth. I should command them to come. I saw you like a nail technician, like doing nails, doing nails. And I'm hearing a name, Lisa, Lisa. Huh? Talk to me, my sister, talk to me. Huh? Yes. Like you have nails. Yes. 
like nails. Yes. Who is Lisa? I am Lisa. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. Where you have been tied up, where you have been locked down, where you have been set back, come forth. Lift up your hands. Let's pray. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. Listen to me. Never conclude it is over for you. Tonight you are coming forth. Your finances are coming forth. Your relationship are coming forth. Your health is coming forth. Everything about you that has been delayed, that has been set back, is coming forth. Is coming forth. Is coming forth. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say clap my hands and pray. I come forth. I come forth. I come forth from disappointment, from setback, from rejection. I come forth. I come forth. Clap your hands and pray. I come forth. I come forth. Suicide thought, delayed destiny, rejection, disappointment, financial problem. I come forth. Me and my house, me and my children, me and my family. We come forth. We come forth. No more delay. No more setback. No more rejection. I come forth. I come forth. Somebody pray one minute. Pray. Pray. I come forth. I come forth. I come forth. I come forth. Can I have anointing oil to minister to, to them quickly? Anointing. Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. The Holy Ghost. Fall. Anointing. Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me, anointing. Fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, anointing. Fall on me, anointing. Anointing. I should pray. The Lord said, I should pray for the family. I can't, I can't pronounce this name. I am seeing a family of four. I am seeing a family of four. Three girls and one boy. And I'm hearing a name Tanika. Tanika, and I'm hearing a name Tan Tanil, 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 and I'm hearing a name Jamila, Jamila, huh? Who is Agnes, huh? Who is Agnes? That's you. Let the power of the, the Holy, Holy Ghost fall on me. Place. I can't pronounce the name of the place. And I saw a family of four. Four children. How many, 
Who is Agnes? You are the Agnes. And I'm seeing four children. One boy. Three girls. Huh? Tanika. Tanil. Jamila. Oh, look at me. Oh, Jesus. Something is happening. And I heard the Lord said, Behold, I will do it. Behold, I will do it. Behold, I will do it. This is a good news I can't announce. Because not everybody in church likes to hear good news for people. But the Lord said, Behold, I will do it. Behold, I will do it. Behold, I will do it. Miracles are about to happen. Where your joy will be full and complete. Where you are going to find peace. And certain things you are bothered and worried about. The spirit of God is telling me to tell you. I am taking care of it. 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 And the Lord said I should tell you. The finances. I am facing it. Tell David. David. Who is David? Tell David. I am working it out. 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 Family, stretch off your hand towards them. Can you give me the oil? Give me the song. Give me the song. Give me the song. I am Fall on me. Anointed. Fall on me. Let the power. Fall on me, anointing, fall on me, anointing, fall on me, anointing, fall on me, let the power of the Holy Ghost Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Lift up your two hands. Look at me. Anointing fall on me. Who is Isaiah? Isaiah, come. Are you Isaiah William? Isaiah William, look at me, look at me, look at me. I see a call of God upon you. A call of God. Go to Bible school. The Lord said, I should tell you, a time is, a time is coming. I am going to use you in this land. And listen to me. If people look like you are jealous. Huh? Go to Bible school. Because a time is coming. God will give you a voice in this land. A voice. And you'll be speaking truth to power and authority. A voice. A voice. And listen to me. I see a mantle that will be released from you from the bishop. Huh? Look at me. Look for a way and me to... Isaiah William. Isaiah William. You don't know me and I don't know you from anywhere. The Lord said, tell Isaiah William. Ah, I am seeing you like you are in the Bible school and you are going to graduation. Talk to me, my brother. What is yes? I finished Bible school. You finished Bible school. Put your hands together for Jesus. Look at me. Look for me.
Isaiah William. Grace is coming. The Lord said, I should pray for a family like. Oh, I cannot pronounce the name. Surreal. Surreal. Susan Surio. What is that? Who, are, who, who is Susan? So who is who, like family? A, a family like Surau. The Lord said we should pray for a family called Surau. Bishop. This is a bad news. So I think I have to tell only you. Yeah. A bad news. Some, some, it's, not, it's not a very bad news, but it is not that great. And it is connected to Mark. 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 Who is Mark? Mark. It, it is not a very present news. Yeah. Yeah. And before... Before... Uh, I continued the ministration. I want you to just lift up your right hands. In one minute, let us intercede for that family. Let every dark crowd over that family disappear. Let every negative covering over that family catch fire. Every spirit of death, every spirit of death over that family be arrested. Be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested in the name of Jesus. In the realms of light, I saw this tall man coming from the bathroom and told the wife and said, you know, my eye is paining me so much I cannot see. And he fell down. Said, my eye, my eye is paining me so much. I don't know, my eye is paining me so much. I cannot see, I cannot see, I cannot see. And he fell down. And he fell down. Lift up your right hand again. We are a church of prayer. They told me you people pray a lot. Let us intercede. Let us intercede right now. Let us intercede right now. The devil will not win. The devil will not win. Death will not prevail. Death will not prevail. Death will not prevail. Therefore, not prevail. Therefore, not prevail. We declare life. We declare healing. We declare deliverance. We declare life. We declare healing. We declare deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be life. Let life be restored. Let life be restored. Let life be restored. In the name.